artificial food colors are chemical dyes used to color food and drinks. Many food colorings just haven't been tested enough to determine the long-term dangers. We're not talking about ingesting small amounts, either. Consumption of food dyes has increased 500% in the past 50 years. As for the dyes that have been tested, studies have come back inconclusive but some have shown links to certain types of cancers. Artificial food color is suspected of causing increased hyperactivity in children. Also, the dye yellow number 5 has been thought to worsen asthma symptoms. In the 1970s, the FDA famously banned red dye number 2 after some studies found that large doses could cause cancer in rats. Monosodium glutamate by itself looks like salt or sugar crystals. It is a form of the naturally occurring chemical glutamate. Glutamate doesn't have a flavor of its own, but it enhances other flavors and imparts a savory taste. Tomatoes, soybeans, and seaweed are examples of foods that have a lot of glutamate naturally. Some scientists say that glutamate, also known as umami, is the fifth essential flavor that the human palate can detect, in addition to sweet, salty, bitter, and sour. Sodium benzoate is a food additive used as a preservative. It's suspected that sodium benzoate, in addition to artificial food color, may increase hyperactivity in some children. Sodium benzoate in soft drinks may also react with added vitamin C to make benzene, a cancer-causing substance. Aspartame is an artificial sweetener known by various brand names, including Equal and NutraSweet. A study published in 2005 suggested that aspartame could cause leukemia and lymphoma in rats. Another study, published in 1996, argued that an increase in the rate of brain tumors in the United States could be related to consumption of aspartame. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. Follow us on our social networks.